some of the base there for many of the potatoes. I'm just going to lightly sort them off, give them a bit of colour. I've also got a little bit of uh, shoreill mushrooms as well. Maybe a little garnish for that dish. Just put a little bit of this colour on it. First time I was at the Sheraton under Nicholas, it was predominantly uh, classic French. You know? yeah, yeah. So that stood me in good stead with them. Moving to Glen Eagles, especially with the multi outlets that they have and moving around that, it's given me more of an idea of a lot of different, different things. You know? I had quite a fine dining background up until going to Glen Eagles, but you know, during one of my uh, one of my PDRs with the chef. that Craig because you don't have any uh, informal dining you know so I went down and I worked in the clubhouse and things like that you know so I learned how 
learn how to cook burgers, but you know, I did burgers and things like that, you know, so that you know, when, when, the, when the time arose, I would have you know, a chance to do that. So. Just about having a sort of rounded, rounded, rounded experience. background, yeah, you know, and this is, I think, sometimes also in the industry that there's, there's too much, you know, too many people want to come up too fast, you know, yeah, yeah. And just take your time, you've got your whole career, learn your trade, you know. I think apprenticeships would probably be a very good a good thing as well. You know, people learn what they were doing and why they were doing it. They still have apprentices at HND now or HND, you know, I think Hilford was a very good college for me, you know, because they did a professional the culinary arts, which was just pure cooking. People uh, you know, you, you learn, you went to you know, good hotels, top hotels that were doing the right things, you know. So what's going on top of the what's what's the sauce? It's a vanilla, vanilla sauce. So it's just a little bit of fish stock, a little bit of vanilla, some chai tree. Fish will get that, and uh, vegetarian will get a little butter sauce to go with it. A little bit of samphire. Potatoes, mushrooms, coming out. A little blue bark choke stuff with fine rat to your basil, fine rat parmesan uh, custard. <laughs> It's not often you see a veggie smile in the kitchen, is it? <laughs> you always been vegetarian? No. No? No. Um, seven years? Really? What made you change? I just... I always thought one day... I would like to be a vegetarian, but... Really? Yeah. I was like that with football once, eh? <laughs> One day I thought I'd be a professional footballer. <laughs> but actually, I used to love eating, like, I ate meat for dinner. Really? I loved it all, lamb, chicken, meat. Uh -huh. And I never, ever thought yeah. that I would actually do it. Yeah. And then it was New Year, and I thought that I would just try it for a month, but it's really not expecting. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and surprisingly, it was easier than I thought and I managed to do it. I thought, I'll just carry on and see how long it goes. And I got for the spot. Seven years later. Yeah. Was it so of ethical reasons or? Yeah. yeah. Do you not miss having like a bacon sandwich? I actually don't and I really, really thought I would, which is why I never, sure. I couldn't put it off for ages. Oh, what's that? It's a little fennel crisp, so it's just dehydrated fennel. Shaved on a mandolin and then uh, Do you have a dehydrated thing and just put it in the oven and leave the door open? You could do both. We we have one but we could do both. Thank you. Vegas spoiling us. 